He was the spiritual master of Advaita Acharya. <laughs> he was also the spiritual master of Ishvara Puri. <laughs> Ishvara Puri was the spiritual master of Lord Chaitanya. <laughs> So Lord Chaitanya took initiation in this disciple succession because of Ishvara Puri, because of Madhavendra Puri. <laughs> Madhavendra Puri awakened the seed of love of God. He taught everyone how to experience it. He discovered the deity of Krishna on Govardhan Hill. And then Krishna, the deity, asked him to go to bring comfort in sandalwood. And so Madhavendra Puri walked all the way from Vrindavan to Jagannath Puri. And on the way, he went to a place called Rimuna, which is not very far away from Jagannath Puri. Yeah, when you go to Jagannath Puri, you can also visit Ramuna. There's a deity of Gopina. Where is Tulsi Gopina? Where is Tulsi Gopina? Where is Tulsi Gopina? So the deity of Gopina Every day was receiving very nice sweet rice. Uh, 
呃，这个卢纳神像每天都吃那个甜奶饭。Everyone who goes to see the deity in Ramona of Gopinath, they will eat some of the sweet rice. So you every day to Ramona of the Gopinath temple, you will have the sweet rice. Yeah, nice deity. That temple is very good. Nice sweet rice. That sweet rice is very good. Madhavendra Puri wanted to make some for his deity Gopal in Govardhan. 所以这个马尔文普瑞想为他自己的神像，古巴神像也做这个甜奶饭。嗯、uh, ，So Mother Van der Poel, so the deity stole one pot of sweet rice for him. Uh, three times. No, the deity stole. Yeah. One pot. Yeah, huh? One pot. 把这个神像啊，就偷了一罐甜奶嘛。就就古巴那的神像，就被马尔文普瑞的偷了一罐。So that. Deity became known as the Gopinath, the deity who steals the sweet rice. Because this image of Gopinath knew that the mother went to the city and took it to him. He took it to him. Shira Kora Gopinath. Shira Kora Gopinath. Chor, Chor. Krishna is also known as a thief. Chor. Thief means Chor. Chor means thief. Chor means thief. Chor means thief. Chor means thief. Krishna is called Makan Chor. Krishna became Makan Chor. Steal the butter. Because he stole the butter. Gopinath stole the sweet rice. Gopinath, not stealing the butter, stealing the butter. To give to his devotees. It's for his devotees. It's for his devotees. So just imagine how much Krishna loved Madhavendra. You think about how much Krishna loved Madhavendra. Such a great devotee. Madhavendra is such a great devotee. So Lord Nityananda, Lord Nityananda also met uh, with uh, Mother Vindapuri. So Nityananda also met with Mother Vindapuri. Some people say he was a disciple. Not Lord Nityananda was his disciple. Not sure. Ah, some people say Nityananda was Mother Vindapuri's disciple. Today, there is this theory, but it is not clear. Some people say Nityananda was a disciple of another guru. 有的人说，祖尼天南的是另外一个人，是另外一个有另外一个物。But Lord Nityananda also a great respect for Mother Vindapuri. 那那个祖尼天南的对这个 Mother Vindapuri 也特别的尊敬有加。So the festival today was held there at the home of Advaita Acharya. 所以今天这个节日，我们去了那个 Advaita Acharya 的家。Lord Nityananda. And Lord Chaitanya would often go from here to Shantipur. 那个时候，尼天南呢和彩天雅都聚集到了桑提普。Sometimes they would go swimming. 有的时候他们去一起游游泳。They swim down the Ganga. 他们顺着河恒河顺流而下，就游了游了下去。Because five hundred years ago, the Ganga would flow past the house of Advaita Acharya. 因为那个时候恒河就流经啊，就在差尔的家。You went by bus. 你们是坐大巴去的吧？那个彩泰尼亚是走路加游泳游过去的，就走过去的。Okay, so they have a big festival there every year. Thousands of people come. 所以每年都有这个节日，成千上万人都去。So they could not perform the festival for many years. They they had no To organize the festival. 不是每年，以前不是每年都举行，那时我们没这能力举行这么多。So they asked Iskand to organize. 所以他们做不了这个活动，他们就要求伊斯康来做这样的活动。So about twenty or more years ago, we began to organize. 我们开始组织这个活动，大概二十多二十多年前，到现在为止已经二十多多年了。Revive the festival. 我们开始就那个节日。We hope we can maintain it. We hope we can maintain it, but hold the festival every year. We hope we can maintain it, but hold the festival every year. We hope we can maintain it, but hold the festival every year. We hope we can maintain it, but hold the festival every year. We hope we can maintain it, but hold the festival every year. We hope we can maintain it, but hold the festival every year. Uh, 问问题和回答问题，对吧 ？Devotees wrote many questions for me. 
So I'm going to read some of the questions. I'm sure your questions are like your questions. This is a question written by a, a man. He asks, Is it all right for me to pray to Krishna that I can stay brahmacharya? <laughs> yeah, it's all right. And you can get married also. You can be a Grihastha Brahmacharya. We have also Grihastha Brahmacharya. It's not only the Brahmacharis who are in saffron. The Brahmacharis can also be married and wear white and they can have a wife. <laughs> Prabhupada said, if you, have, if you have a wife and you live according to Krishna consciousness, then you are a Grihastha Brahmacharya. So you should pray to Krishna. You can always stay in Krishna consciousness. So you should pray to Krishna. You can always stay in Krishna consciousness. Lord Chaitanya taught us not to think in terms of material designation. He said, I am not a Brahmachari or a Grihastha or a Vanaprastha or a Sanyasi. Lord Chaitanya said, I am not a Brahman or a Kshatriya or a Vaisha or a Sutra. So, what am I? No, I am. Yes, very good. Pur and the Pur. Yeah, you know how. Pur and the Pur. Right. That's right. That's the spiritual conscious. Right? Don't be in the body. Bodily consciousness. Thinking I am Brahman. I am Brahmacharya. I am Sanyasi. I am Sanyasi. I I and self-satisfaction. No, self-satisfaction. We have to understand who is the self. We are all pure souls. So the real satisfaction of the self is to be connected to the Supreme Self, to Krishna. Impersonalism, impersonalism will not give us any real pleasure or satisfaction. Impersonalism is thinking everything is one. But we are all Ultimately, Brahman, we're all the Supreme. <coughs> so we don't want to have that kind of consciousness. <coughs> Impersonalism. Prabhupada came to preach the message of Lord Chaitanya. <coughs> and we pray, Nirvisesha Shunyavadi Paschacha Deshitarini. Right. Preaching, uh, Goravani Pricharini, preaching the message of Lord Chaitanya to defeat impersonalism and voidism. Impersonalism makes people godless. Because if everyone is God, then there's no meaning to God. Because we're all God. So what kind of God is that? We're all God. It doesn't have any meaning. 
Just like if we say, okay, you're the head, you're you're in charge, and we say you're all in charge. You know, oh, you're the leader, that's all. No, that would be very nice. Huh? <laughs> so we all are the head, isn't it? We can imagine how much confusion. That you, you think that all the head, that's how big the problem is. I'm in charge. No, you're in charge. That people will argue. I'm the head. No, I'm the head. It's all one. So this is impersonalism just completely confuses these people. So this finger twister makes people confused. Tonight is the real purpose of life. Where are you getting this human life? Okay, we have another another question. Okay, we have 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 another question. Okay, Do you happen to know if Varsana is manifested here too, and where is it located? Thank you. They, they're asking. We're here in Mayapur, so is Varsana also here in oh, Mayapur? Ah, we know this Mayapur. We heard about Varsana. You know Varsana? You know Varsana is where? Varsana is the place where Radharani lives. Uh, Varsana is Brata Rani to the dear. Rish Maharaj Rishamanu and Kirtida, they lived in Varsana. Uh, Radha Rani's father, uh, Vaisabhanu and his mother Kirtida, they lived there. And they have, there's a palace on the hill. That is a sign, that has that that palace. That place is called Varsana. That sign, that place is called Varsana. That sign, that place is called Varsana. So the devotee, Russian lady, wrote the question, asking. Is Varsana also in Mayapur? Where is it? Then a Russian lady asked, "Does Mayapur have Varsana? If there is, where is it?" Because Mayapur and Vrindavan are non-different. Because Vrindavan and Mayapur are not different. All the holy places are in Vrindavan. All the holy places are also here in Mayapur. All of these holy places are also here in Mayapur. All the holy places are also here in Mayapur. All the holy places are also here in Mayapur. I don't know where Varsana is. <laughs> We're still researching. <laughs> if you find out where Varsana is, you can let me know. <laughs> But it's here. It must be here. All the holy places are here. One time there was a meeting of all the holy places. They had a meeting. They called a meeting, and all the presiding deities of all the holy places had to come. <laughs> they had a meeting at the Triveni, at the junction of the Ganga and the Yamuna. And they told all the deities of all the holy places, all come, have a meeting. So when they had the meeting, they said, "Just a minute, Vrindavan's not come. Where is Vrindavan?" Ah, then they were in the meeting. Wait, wait, wait. Why? Why? Vrindavan's spirit is not coming. Why? 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 So all the holy places are also here in Mayapur. So all the holy places are also here in Mayapur. So all the holy places are also here in Mayapur. Now let me ah, now let me put down. This is the place of the greatest mercy. This is the greatest mercy. This is the greatest mercy. This is the greatest mercy. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Krishna in his most merciful form comes here. So Krishna in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy's words come here. Wow. Radha and Krishna appeared in Vrindavan, and they combined together as Lord Chaitanya to come here to Vrindavan. Radha and Krishna in Vrindavan, they two together came here to Vrindavan. So very special. So Varsana is here. So so Varsana is also here. Okay. Then they ask, why each anga of bhakti connected with each island? Why is that? 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 Why is that?
Was there some special lila in each <coughs> island according to the type of devotional service? Can you make a full life for the poor person? Make a doubt, so do you go in the cell or shimona? Yeah, you can find you can connect the different islands, the different kinds of devotional service. <coughs> The temple here, our, our land is is in two islands. Right. The Yoga Peak is an island called Antarctic. The Jagannath Temple at Rajapur, that is in Simantadwi. So, as they say, the time of death, Lord Shiva comes. If you die in that place, Lord Shiva will come and chant the holy name of Goranga. Goranga. Yeah, he will come and chant very loudly in the ear of the dying person. It's a good place to die, yeah? And Lord Chaitanya would regularly come in Godrama Dweep chanting the holy name doing Kirtan. And then next, next island we went to Majam Dweep. Where the processors remembering. So, wherever we go, we want to remember Krishna. We want to remember Krishna. Always remember Krishna. But when we come in Navadri, 
We always want to remember Lord Chaitanya. We come to get the mercy of Lord Chaitanya. By the mercy of Lord Chaitanya, then we can go to understand Radha and Krishna. Without the mercy of Lord Chaitanya, we can never understand Radha. If we have no Lord Chaitanya, we can never understand Radha. So, like that, you can see each island is connected to a type of devotion. So, you can see each island is connected to a type of devotion. Someone said, If I have committed offenses against the Vaishnavas, how can I atone? How can I overcome it? By serving the Vaishnavas. But if you offend the Vaishnavas, they may not allow you to serve them. If you offend the Vaishnava, they may not allow you to serve them. So what to do? Then you have to chant the holy name. You have to shed tears and cry. Regret. Beg forgiveness. No other way. Yeah, then the Vaishnava is very serious. Can destroy all of our devotional service. So, always try to serve the Vaishnavas. Don't fight. Cooperate with each other. Someone said, there used to be a big forest here in the a camp, one camp which we go to on Parikrama, in a place called Pratap Naga. Pratap Naga. So this land belongs to Iskand. But now they've cut down all the trees. Why? The land belongs to Iskand. Why did they cut all the trees? Well, I heard they sold the wood. And they're going to plant more trees. Yeah, they're going to plant more trees and cultivate another forest. I heard initially, initially they bought that land because they wanted wood for building the new temple. <coughs> they need a lot of wood. So they, they bought that land and they cultivated all the trees. So they so I don't know, I'm not involved in any of the management. You have to ask some of the managers. <laughs> Another question. To remember what we have heard, we have to share it with others. If we want to remember what we heard, but I'm forgetting what I heard. What to do? You have to hear more carefully. Right? You have to hear carefully and then immediately you have to go and start repeating it. Don't wait. You have to immediately go and give it, give whatever you've learned, whatever you've learned. 
<laughs> if you've forgotten, then you have to have some friend who was with you who also heard, and they can help you. We have to have a strong desire. Somebody said to me yesterday, Oh, when I go to whenever I go to class, I feel so tired. As soon as class is over, I'm not tired. <laughs> you know, it's like we say, as soon as we say Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, everyone go to sleep. <laughs> I heard yesterday Bhakti Chaitanya Swami gave you all class and you saw many of you sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> so he had to get you all to put your hands up in the air. And chant, Go Ranga! Wake everybody up. <laughs> yeah, this is our ignorance. No, we have to have more enthusiasm, more eagerness for the Okay. <coughs> How to be serious? How to be serious in bhakti? Well, you have to be serious. <laughs> Don't joke about it. It's a serious thing. We should understand the value of the human life. And we should understand how rare. And how much limited time we have in this world. We don't know when we have to leave. But we know we have to leave one day. So we have to get ready, we have to become very serious. Just like in Bombay, Mumbai. Yeah. One night there was an earthquake. And everybody had to rush out of the building. And, and they were all outside chanting the holy name. Yeah, there were tremors, all the buildings were They didn't know if the ground is going to open up and swallow them. They said it was the best japa they ever chanted. <laughs> because they thought maybe we're all going to die. <laughs> so when they think like that, they were very serious. <laughs> we have to think like that. We are hearing in many lectures that every place eternally exists and manifests also at other places. And the, yeah, the, and the holy places which are here, they exist, there, there's holy places in Navadvi, but they're also manifested in other places. So why various pastimes take place at different places? Why not in Navadvi? Just like we heard about Puskar. So Puskar is manifested in Navadvi. 
but it's also manifested in another place in India. Why? How to understand this? <coughs> Pushka is a big lake. Pushka is a big lake. And it's a place where Lord Brahma is worshipped. In fact, it's the only place where Lord Brahma is allowed to be worshipped. Lord Brahma got cursed by his wife. Lord Brahma's wife is called Savitri. So they were doing a yagya one day. And when you do a yagya, you're supposed to have your wife with you. So the time was coming, the auspicious time was coming for the yagya. And they were waiting for the wife to come. And they were calling her, come, come, come on, quick. So she didn't come in time. So they told Lord Brahma, look, take another wife. So there was a young girl there. So they passed her into the cow. <coughs> no, she, 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 she went through the cow. Uh, yeah. yeah, she passed the cow. Yeah, she entered into the cow. Into the cow. She entered the cow. Yeah. yeah. So she got the name Gaya. So she got the name Gaya. Gaya means the cow. Gaya means the cow. Gaya means the cow. So Gaya. Gaya. Yeah. So she became the other wife of Brahma. So when Brahma's wife said, so if she came and she saw that Brahma had done this, she was very angry. So he had she was angry. So she cursed her husband. He said, You will only be worshipped in one place. 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 You will only be worshipped in so his devotee is asking, why we have to have two pushkars? So if we have to ask, why we have to have two pushkars? Pushkars are in Navadweep, and pushkars is also over there. The pushkars are in Navadweep, and there is a pushkar. In the Indian country, there is also a pushkar. So the original pushkar is here in Navadweep. The original pushkar is here in Navadweep. But there is another pushkar there. But there is another pushkar there. Why? Why? Make it easier for people to come to go there to this holy place. Just like in Vrindavan, one day Krishna's mother and father, Nanda Maharaj and mother Yusoda, they said we want to go to Himalaya, go to the holy places. <coughs> yeah, we want to go to Badrak Ashram. And that is in the Himalayas. It's here also in Vrindavan. So Krishna took his mother and father to see. So, 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 Oh, 
for the pleasure of the Lord also. <laughs> Because not everybody is qualified to go to the holy places. Like Navadweep and Vrindavan, they're not just simply holy places, they are called Dham. This is Navadweep Dham. And Vrindavan Dham. Dham is a different is different from a, a holy place. To a holy place they say Tirtha. Tirtha. That means a, a holy place. But these holy places, they're not as powerful as a Dham. Dham is a place where Krishna resides eternally. Just like here in Navadri Dham, Lord Chaitanya resides here eternally. Have you seen him? Did you join his Sankirtan party? He's going everywhere. He's still here every day. He's performing Sankirtan. In the same way, Lord Krishna dances Rasa Lila in Vrindavan. These pastimes of the Lord are going on eternally. So that is the nature of a dam. Lord Krishna, Lord Chaitanya reside here eternally. But a holy place, that is maybe some great devotee was there, or maybe some the Lord visited there. The dam most important. Dam is But Puskar is not a dam. That Puskar is a dam. Okay. Here someone said, I like only Kirtan in devotional activities, not any other activity. So is it good for spiritual life? <coughs> Do you agree? No. 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 Kirtan very good, yeah. <coughs> if you do proper kirtan, then in proper kirtan, there is also hearing and there is also remembering. <coughs> and Lord Chaitanya has said in the Shikshastika, <coughs> Kirtaniya Sada Hari. What does it mean? Kirtaniya Sada Hari is a Say to the old woman, woman, may ten Tony and Bashan, do the Bashan way. Kirtaniya Sada Harisha, Maisa. Oh, thank you. Somebody knows. I see you. We want you all to remember this. We want you all to remember this. Kirtaniya Sada Hari. Kirtaniya Sada Hari. Shamaisa. Shamaisa. Okay, remember. Every temple they have that written on the wall of the temple. This is the instruction of Lord Chaitanya. He's saying we should always do kirtan. So somebody likes kirtan, very good. Who became perfect by kirtan? Me. 
，你，妈死了。<笑>有的天才，谁？天才谁？有的天才吗？谁？卡，苏卡，卡，卡，这个这个。苏卡，这个这个。苏卡，这个这个。苏卡，这个这个。苏卡，这个这个。苏卡，这个这个。苏卡，这个这
文部落，作为奉献者，因为工作的关系，不得不与非奉献者打交道、应酬，特别是在谈论物质工作的话题和吃饭的问题上，如何面对这些问题？坚持奉献者的规范原则，可能会与工作关系、同事和朋友有一些关系会变得很远。如何在维持物质关系的基础上发展灵性关系？两个问题。一个是，呃，奉献者有有工作，得上班跟奉献非奉献者打打打打交道、呃，会有一些挺麻烦的，吃饭也吃不到一块儿，谈论工作话题，如何面对这些问题？对，对有的时候在用餐。吃饭的问题。Well, we have to face all these kind of difficulties in the material world. 我们不得不面对物质世界的这些困难。You have to work. You have to have some job. 你得上班，你得有工作。You have to sometimes put on a show. You have to play a part, just like in a drama. Pretend that you're. 就像演话剧一样，你得扮演这个话剧中的一些角色。Oh. So you have you work with people who are not the devotees. 你还得和那些非奉献者打交道。You have to have a you have to have a keep a good relationship with them. 你还得跟他们保持好关系。So sometimes you have to pretend to be a good materialist yourself. 然后呢，呃，你还得假装在你你你看你的物质生活物质主义非常。变成物质主义，所以你的物质生活特别好，还得装。Sometimes you just have to do these things just for the sake of maintaining your life. 有的时候为了维系你的生活，你不得不做这些事儿。But in our heart, we should always think that oh, I hope I can finish up this job and go back home and do my chanting. 但你内心呢，就不要这么想了。内心想什么呢？赶紧下班回家，我念诵去。外在这么装，里头这么想，赶紧回家下班吧。明天。When you have to hope, pray to Krishna to protect you. 然后你还得向菩萨祈祷，保护治好自己。Many devotees have to face these things. 那很多奉献者都面对这些事儿。There's one very nice lady, proper disciple. Her name is Urmila Devi Das. 有泡花有一个好的一个女门徒叫。So she was describing in one article she wrote. She, 她在一篇文章当中是这么写的。She, because she was, uh, she was made, she was writing a a, a thesis for her PhD. She was doing capital. Yeah, 她她她在这个考博士后的时候要写论文。啊、uh,。So she had to go to a school and be the vice principal of a big school. And government schools in America, you're not allowed to practice any religion. Because if you want to enter the government-run school, you have to be a Christian. Just like China is also, you're not allowed to practice religion, of course, in the school. Just like China, you're not allowed to practice religion, of course, in the school. Just like China, you're not allowed to practice religion, of course, in the school. Just like China, you're not allowed to practice religion, of course, in the school. Just like China, you're not allowed to practice religion, of course, in the school. 在美国情况一样。They used to, they used to have previously many years ago. They used to have prayer they, every day. They used to pray. 所以呢，在美国那个时候，如果你要去的话，你还得习惯的去祈祷。But then they passed a law stop and they say it's not good to force people to believe in God. 所以那个时候人们不鼓励说像你们这样，你对你对神有不信仰。So they said we're going to stop this. 那我们应该。阻止人们这个这种祈祷。And if people want to pray, they can pray in their own home. 如果你要想真的想祈祷的话，你在家里头祈祷就行了，不要来学校。So she was becoming the vice principal of a big school. 所以她在学校里都不知道要要修。No, this this lady. 就这就这这个屋，这个屋里了。She became the vice principal. 副副副校长。副校长。副校长。她后这个五米拉后成为了这个学校的副校长。So it's a big position. 
他这个地位在这个学校的地位是很大的。And so of course many people they're watching. They want to see who is this new lady. What she doing? 所以因为他那个在这个地位上嘛，这个学校里人很很都非常注意他，看他说什么，看他做什么。And she been a devotee for a very long time. 但他成为奉献者已经很长时间了。So it was very hard for her to keep her Krishna consciousness. 所以对他而言，要保持亏损自觉太太难了。But of course she has to she has to do it. In a way that nobody knows. So she, yeah, 不得不还得做，别人还得不知道。And she has to also. 偷摸做。She has to also teach and also work in the school. 她还得在学学校里头教学，还得上班。And she described the different things she did to keep her Krishna conscious. 所以她又用呃，讲那些不同的。How she, what she did to keep herself Krishna conscious. 她她以前就做了一些事情来保持自己的 Krishna 知觉。She would read books by the Acharyas. 她也读其他的阿尔察雅的书。And she would also write realizations. 她写自己的这个觉悟。And she would also keep her association by phone. She would call up different devotees and speak to them. 哎，她有时啊，有的时候能保持联系，通过呼呼他们，呼叫他们，跟他们一起。So you have a job like this. You're working with people who are not devotees. So you, you have this job with people who are not devotees. Yes, you have to call up. You have to keep in touch with devotees. But you have to call up. You have to keep in touch with devotees. But you have to call up. You have to keep in touch with devotees. But you have to call up. You have to keep in touch with devotees. But you have to call up. You have to keep in touch with devotees. But you have to call up. You have to keep in touch with devotees. But you have to call up. You have to keep in touch with devotees. But you have to call up. You have to keep in touch with devotees. But you have to call up. You have to keep in touch with devotees. But you have to call up. You have to keep in touch with devotees. But you have to call up. You have to keep in touch with devotees. But you have to call up. You have to keep in touch with devotees. But you have to call up. You have to keep in touch with devotees. But you have to call up. You have to keep in touch with devotees. But you have to call up. You have to keep in touch with devotees. But you have to call up. You have to keep in touch Yeah, when you really want to be Krishna conscious, Krishna will give you the intelligence how to do it. 如果你真的想要有回生之觉的话，回生就给你智慧，要你告诉你怎么做。You just have to be very determined. 你必须就是你只是有决心就行了，你只要是决心坚定就行，回生就会有道理。Okay, any final question? 还有其他的最后的问题？差不多。Okay, okay, we've got more questions. We can finish them another day. 我们呃，下次吧，过几天再再回答这个这里边的。You can also think what questions you want to ask. 你们大家也要想，你们脑子里有什么问题就可以问。You can write it on a piece of paper. 你们可以写下来。Give me the next. 写下来以后给给姑姑，你们有什么问题可以写下来。Okay. So where's Prasanna? Prasanna 呢？